Hi guys. So today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook and I'm starting a new one because I'm done with my last one. But before I start, I wanted to share this layout and hopefully there won't be any glare. So I did this layout um, back in the day when I used to do 12 by 12 size layouts. And this is one of my favorite layouts um, because there's little things that I wrote about my kids and my husband and I about um, like our job and our likes and dislikes and I think I did this I don't know if there's a date on here but it might have been in like 2009 or 8 I'm not sure but anyways I thought if it would be cool if I kind of um, did the same layout but in my traveler's notebook of course it's going to be smaller but i thought i could try to redo this layout and of course our answers would be different because it's you know um almost 10 years later so that's what i'm going to be doing today in my traveler's notebook so i'm going to move this out of the way and kind of figure out how i will be using or you know doing this layout in my traveler's notebook i grabbed a few pictures and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I also grabbed my Feed Your Craft stamps. I believe I can kind of use this in my layout where it brings out like, um, because I can use real talk or who, what, where, when, and why. And I really wanna to try to use the stamp set in my layout. And I grabbed some papers that I think I will be able to use also and um, try that. Uh, anyways, I am gonna speed this up and you guys will get to see my process. So of course, because my style has changed, I'm not really sticking to the same colors and um, style of that layout. I just wanna kinda try to recreate it um, with the style I'm at right now. So I'm just going through my paper and I'm sticking to some pink, white, and black and thought I could add my daughter's picture and myself to the pink pattern paper and my son and husband to the black and white. And all I did was uh, chose my paper and I will be sticking it down. So I felt like my pictures were kind of, or not standing out, so I just grabbed this vellum piece and will be sticking my pictures on the vellum piece. You can't really see it, but um, in person it just gives this kind of subtle um, background to my pictures and I like how it turns out, so I'm just going to grab my pictures and start sticking them down. So once I'm done sticking my pictures down, I'm going to grab my Feed Your Craft stamp set. And I really like this stamp set. Um, I thought I will definitely be using that speech bubble. But it's kind of big for my layout. So I decide to just stamp half of the speech bubble. And I'll be stamping a bunch of those because I thought, like my 12 by 12 layout, I had a, some little questions like your dislikes and likes and I thought I would do that inside the speech bubbles. I will also stamp out that where, when, and what stamp um, and I think I also stamp out real talk and I'm just stamping them out kind of to see if I want to add them to my layout or not but I do end up using them. And um, all I'm going to do is start cutting out my speech bubbles, but I will save you from all the fussy cutting. 
and now I'm just going to try to figure out how I'm gonna like lay these speech bubbles on my layout. So because I stamped a lot on white paper, I decided that I'm going to restamp that who, what, where, when, and why um, on my pattern paper. Uh, I didn't want to do it on white paper again and have to fussy cut it. There was just too many, um, there was too much white paper on my page. So I like how it turned out. I will grab the stamp set again. And I just grabbed this stamp that said, he said, she said, I said. And I thought it would work perfect if I just added it under everybody's speech bubble and kind of just um, ticked off, uh, he said for my husband and she said for my daughter, so on and so forth. So I just decide to punch them out in circle, in one of my circle punches and add them to my layout. So I want this stamp um, to kind of stand out. So I do grab some black paper and back it up with the black paper. And I will grab another stamp that has that pencil, which is adorable, and we'll be stamping it on that floral pattern paper. And uh, I just wanted to bring in more like a pattern to my page. And it turns out pretty good and I will just stick it right on top of that Real Talk stamp. So I'm going to add one more stamp and I believe it says Our Story. I will add that to that kind of empty space right under my husband's speech bubble. And then I'm going to start going through my puffy stickers and try to add some texture and color to um, my layout. So I really want to add a flare also to my layout and I will stick to one. I believe I grabbed the all day every day um, flare which works really well with my layout because this is how we feel all day every day. And I will grab a different stamp set also Feed Your Craft and we'll stamp out one of these cameras on pink pattern paper. I will fussy cut it out and add it to my layout. So I'm almost done with my layout. Of course, I'm gonna grab my crystal drops and add some drops here and there. But I'm so happy that I recreated my old layout of my kids and my husband and I. Uh, it's really nice to kind of look every few years and see how your style has changed and mine has changed dramatically. 
and it's pretty cool to redo a layout that you loved at the time and still do and that layout means so much to me so redoing it was a great idea anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope to see you guys soon bye